Welcome to the Elementary STEM Coach Podcast. I'm your host, Naomi Meredith, a former classroom teacher turned K-5 STEM teacher and coach. With over a decade of experience teaching and a master's degree in STEM leadership, I'm here to coach you throughout the year to help you gain back more time to create innovative experiences for your students. Back to school night can look a little bit different for STEM teachers compared to classroom teachers. So what in the world should you actually set up? In today's episode, I will be sharing with you five easy things that you can add to your STEM classroom for back to school night. Each school definitely has a different style when it comes to back to school night expectations for STEM teachers, and it has always changed for me and my STEM classroom as well. So try what tips that work best for you and even consider using some of these tips for parent-teacher conferences or even doing the same thing and you have it all ready to go for these situations throughout the school year. Idea number one is creating a simple hands-on building station. You can set out things like mixed Lego bricks, planks, hashtag blocks, Play-Doh, easy things that you can set out in the classroom and get kids hands-on with some of the materials. This is also a great distraction for kids when they're in their, your space and you can chat with their families a little bit and get to know them better. If you want to, you can add little images for kids as well that can inspire them like an engineer inspiration board. I have one that is back to school that my kids love doing that can get them talking about back to school night, back to school in general, and just have a fun conversation with you. Idea number two is to create a digital meet the teacher letter. You can create a one page letter that lets families know a little bit about you, a picture and list some of your favorites. To take the favorites page even further, you can create a collage that visually shows all of your favorites. One way I like to do this is to create the collage in Google Slides or Canva and use a background removing tool of the images that I find online. There is a cool website called remove.bg. It's free to use, and you can upload any image, and it will remove the background for you. It's pretty good if everything is clear in the picture, and you don't have to do any extra editing. In Canva, there also is this option. So if you create your collage in Canva, you can upload the image, or even find images that they have in there. When you click on the image, there is also a a remove background tool as well. Just a fun way to have families get to know more about you, show your favorites, and you could share this all on the screen in your classroom and not print a copy for every single family. You can also repurpose this letter and have it go in your school-wide newsletter or send on a parent communication platform that your school uses or even on Seesaw. Oh my gosh, have you heard the good news? With this podcast being only a month old, we have already hit 2,000 plus downloads together. I cannot believe this number and how I have been able to make an impact to your STEM classroom by way of audio. To celebrate, I have a special 3 to one giveaway for listeners. There will be three winners celebrating our 2,000 milestone and one month of being on air. You will have the chance to win my back to school STEM activities bundle and makerspace bundle. This will save you so much time planning and give you ideas for lessons and organize your space. To enter, find the giveaway image post on my Instagram at Naomi Meredith underscore tag a teacher friend who would enjoy this podcast. If you want a bonus entry, share the post to your Instagram stories. And that's it. This celebration, the 321, will last from August 22nd through 29th, 2022. Excited to celebrate with you. Another idea for back to school night is to share your club signups. I have done this in the past, and while the signups weren't open yet, I had a summary about each club that I was going to be hosting that school year. We will have future episodes about clubs because I am very passionate about after school clubs. Even as a classroom teacher, this was something that I love doing. 
We will explain more about clubs in the future, but think about when you're planning your clubs, how you can have a balanced selection and involve a variety of different grade levels. Think about if you could have a makerspace club, a robotics club, maybe a Lego building club, or my personal favorite school-wide news recording club, which I will definitely do an episode about that in itself. You can send home that information, have parents be aware. If you know when the signups will open, you can have that as well. But this is a great time to promote your clubs and get parents to know you and who is actually going to be hosting those with their kids. The fourth idea for your back to school night is to share your wish lists and donations. Back in episode three, we talked about creative ways to gather supplies for your STEM space, and those ideas can definitely apply to your back to school setup. This is a great opportunity to share links or QR codes to your Amazon wish list or a donor's choose that you have set up in your classroom. Double check your school guidelines if this is something you are allowed to share. I know different schools and districts have different restrictions, so just make sure you are following your school and district policies. If you need help with setting up an Amazon wish list, I created a little tutorial video that is up on my YouTube, Naomi Meredith, but that will also be embedded on today's show notes as well. Another thing that you could share that is included with your Amazon wish list or donors choose, or if you can do this instead of, is having a donation for makerspace supplies. Often these supplies don't cost anything like cardboard, paper towel tubes, maybe people have a roll of tape that they can donate. This is a great chance to share that as well. You can create a list and print that out for families and send that home with them. Or again, you can create a QR code of the digital list where parents can scan that or even give them a tiny QR code card that they can take home and it has that information as well. So think about creative ways that you can get families involved. I know that it's hard as a specials teacher not always knowing who the families are. So this is a great time to chat and interact what your space is about and how they can help contribute to that area. The fifth idea for your back to school night is one that you can actually keep up all year round, and it's having a STEM styled affirmation station. Now, secretly, I really love my affirmation station because I can check my hair and my outfit in the middle of the day, and mine is outside of my classroom door. So when classroom teachers come and pick up their classes, they're also fixing their hair as well. So me and the teachers are affirming ourselves with this affirmation station. It really is for the kids, but we all know it's also for the teachers too. You can go to Walmart. They have some cheap mirrors for about $7. Grab a mirror, grab some Gorilla Glue tape and hang that up on your wall and then create little light bulbs that you can hang up around the mirror with little phrases like, I'm an innovator, I am an entrepreneur, I am a maker and have that very positive way to look at STEM and help bring to light the whole purpose of your class. It's not just about the tools and the toys, but it's the experiences for kids that you are creating. And this affirmation station is a great reminder of that. This is a quick episode for today because your back to school night prep really shouldn't be overwhelming, but these are some fun things that you can set up and repurpose over different times throughout the school year and also year after year. Those five things that we talked about are creating a hands-on building station, making a digital meet the teacher letter and collage, creating your club signups or summaries about the clubs that you're hoping to host, sharing your wish lists and donation lists, and creating a STEM affirmation station. All of this will be linked in my show notes for today's episode. And you can even see pictures that are related to some of these ideas to give you some inspiration that can make your planning so much easier for this special day. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of the Elementary STEM Coach Podcast. I would love to connect with you over on Instagram at Naomi Meredith underscore or send me an email to elementary STEM Coach Podcast at gmail.com. Also, make sure to check out my website, naomimeredith.com, to see all the show notes from today's episode, 
and shop my K-5 STEM resources. Any questions you have, needs for resources, or ideas for episodes, get in touch. I'll talk to you soon.